What are you eating? Oh, do you like it? Papa. Yummy. What are you watching? I buy. It's <laughs> my ID guy. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Previous film, you saw me bought a new printer, which I was really, really excited because this one is actually a good buy. It's an old model from Fuji Xerox, but apparently or unfortunately, upon installing the driver, it's not compatible with my also an old laptop. So, um Yesterday, my husband Waki was fixing it, trying to fix it for me. Um, so I think we came up with a conclusion that the printer is really um, a bit defective because even the Wi-Fi um, button here doesn't light or we cannot detect the Wi-Fi um connection for this printer so i was really sad because this one is a colored um laser printer and it's very handy and it's just about five thousand pesos and i've been using fuji xerox for more than 10 years before and it was really a big printer so i was hoping i can find a smaller one that is laser and when I found the Fuji Xerox that is compact, I was really happy. But unfortunately, uh, even if I return this, they don't have any other model because since it's very old. So right now, it's Black Friday and I have a Black Friday sale on Shopee. And <laughs> yes, I, was, I was saying a while ago, it's Black Friday sale and I have a Black Friday sale on my Shopee. Um, also, this is already open for pre-order so I'm gonna post more about this on my Instagram story and I'll probably vlog about the, the behind the scenes. Unfortunately though, I don't have a behind the scenes for the leather cover uh, but I've asked Hannah to do so. Uh, so right now I'm just printing with my studio is very messy so I'm just printing the refills testing out more papers and so on so that's what's happening today I'm adding a calendar sticker for the Blanco planner and this is what it will look like so the initial plan was to print on a clear sticker because I kind of like the feel of sticker clear sticker paper apparently it's not a good idea because the part where you can stick the calendar sticker on the planner is actually a dot grid so the numbers aren't clear if I use clear stickers so I'm gonna use a semi glossy one just like this but it's gonna be on white um, background still to match this and for the this one is the cream color and the darker one is called coffee that's Hannah's idea uh, so I was thinking for the coffee planner or cover I'll use this cover also
Okay, on the other news, that's why things are getting so busy here. Um, I shared a video a while ago that I bought a new printer. It was actually a good catch because it was just about 5,000 pesos and it was a discounted price but it was a colored laser and it was Fuji Xerox and I was really hoping it would work but it did not so I had to replace it with new one. This one though is just monochrome or black printer but it's still laser still with Fuji Xerox uh, so this one is was also discounted because they have old models which I don't really mind as long as it works and it this one it works fine technically um, still need some tweaking with the printing but nonetheless I can't complain anymore and so this one is worth about 2,000 plus so National Bookstore does not offer um, refund so I got two, two of those. Um, luckily, they have two more stocks because nonetheless, I wouldn't really know what to get because I really needed a printer. And uh, so now I have two black uh, laser printers and I am actually printing the entire planner using this one and it saves my life so much because and it and it really saves my life and time because technically I'm using this one the Canon and this one is an inject printer so um, the printing time for one planner takes about almost a day and I was really um, having problem how to accomplish all the planners if it takes me a day to finish just one planner and so I decided to get a laser printer because since all the prints will be in black or in grayish well all the prints are in black it's like this one so um, a black printer is just appropriate and so this laser printer can just print in seconds so I can finish the entire planner in just about let's just say half an hour uh, an hour and a half and that totally saves my time uh, so right now I'm done with the first planner so I'm printing second one now and I'm still uh, contact I'm, I'm gonna contact Hannah the one who made this or the one that I'm uh, I've collaborated with for the leather cover uh, so I'm gonna contact her with regards to the status of the cover or vice versa and we're just gonna update each other so we can also update the buyers when they can get the planner but basically first week of December which is gonna be this week <laughs> um, so first batch or first few orders who well the first few who ordered will actually get their planner hopefully within this week late this week so yeah that's really um, what's happening here and then on top of that I'm also printing some orders for stickers and orders for other the old Blanco planner so yeah that's it Okay, so I am done sorting out the planner so it's pretty much this thick it's quite thick actually um, but that's because I added uh, so many extras every month so I'm gonna show you later what's basically included in the planner so what's nice about the ring binder is you can just remove some of the pages if you find it heavy um, let's say you want to remove the second half of the year since you won't probably write anything from there um, especially at the early stage of the year or at plus 
I have here a year at a glance so just in case you need something to plan out on November maybe for next year or the second half of the year then you can check your schedule if there are happening within that time that you don't have to write down on that specific month so I think that's what's nice about the ring binder so after this I'm gonna check out every pages first if they are in order and after that I'm gonna cut the entire um, planner with my rim cutter which is totally convenient and the quality of cutting is also straight So I'm cutting the planners right now. So let me share with you how this thing works. Uh, so I have a cheat sheet here. So this is my guide how to cut the planners. So first, what you saw on the video a while ago is I'm cutting the top part. So the cutting is basically from top to left so top bottom okay right and then left and I have to do this accordingly because um, I have to match the measurements according to the size of the remaining paper meaning uh, so if I start with the top so that gives me 24.3 um, millimeters and so I have to move to the 21 or I have to move to 21 mm so let me show you so first my cutting line was here it's 24.3 and now since I'm cutting the bottom part I have to move on the 21 so here you go 21 mm so that's why I have to cut the paper accordingly because it will vary on the size or the remaining size after cut of the paper okay so now that I've arranged the measurement of my cutter I'm going to align my paper or put the paper inside this one and this is where the blade is so this is the part that it will be cut. Uh, so right now, I'm just trying to move the papers um, upward. So they will be all aligned in this one on the side. So I'm 
then I'm just gonna lock it up. So this this manually and plus it really gives you a very crisp and clean cut so if you can see here here this one is the final cut so this one I'm actually doing it by batch so I'm done with the um, top and bottom and so the sides are my next so here I'm actually doing a batch cutting so I'm doing all the top first and then I'm going to the bottom part and this three are already done on the both um, top and bottom sides so they're just waiting to be cut <laughs> after I'm done with the next one and this is the last um, planner for this batch okay so this batch is done and they are cut into a5 size uh, next one is I'm gonna punch holes on their left side so I'm gonna share with you now with this one I can't find a heavy duty puncher or for industrial style unlike um, like this one I have a puncher for curving corners or is that what you call it yeah um, corner puncher and this one can actually cut about one fourth um, one fourth trim so I can't find a version of that for this one and so I have to cut those by fours four papers for every pages and I have or the refill comes with a thick paper for the monthly pages so they're a bit thick so I just can I can just punch one page per punch so I can just um, do that one paper at a time so I have to do this batch <laughs> manually punching one planner I still have four more but I'm gonna call it a day I'm a bit tired already and um, we're going to my in-laws to have dinner and so I guess that's all I can do for today um, so tomorrow I'm gonna pack this one um, I tried a mock-up something like this but it didn't work um, I need to revise something so uh, I just have to do that tomorrow. So that's about it. Uh, see you again on my next video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this process. Bye!